Right, day three of Tunbridge Wells week. About an hour from the start of the play, and look at this. It is dry. What a week it's been so far, eh? Yeah, it's been pretty dull to be fair. I think we have what 22 overs on the first day, and then we've watched it rain. And the problem is, as nice a ground as Tunbridge Wells is, it hasn't got the same drainage that Canterbury has. So if you get a heavy amount of rain like we had, then it, it can take a few hours out of the game. But there's still a fair bit to go. So hopefully we have two good days of weather, then there might be a result. Yeah, there's every chance of that. I think the forecast is pretty good. However, on Monday, sun was out, and uh, <laughs> the man sitting here. Big score, personal best in the uh, 40 over competition. Yeah, took down the Dutch, the, the mighty <laughs> Dutch. But um, yeah, again, look, we've had so this time of year the wickets can be quite tough. Whereas actually on Monday that was probably the best one day pitch I've ever batted on, certainly at Tunbridge Wells and including Canterbury. So it made such a difference when you're playing against any attack, and they got 250, so we had to go pretty hard. And uh, yeah, when you go in that first eight overs, Sam and I had a bit of a swing, came off, and then it was just a question of batting through, really. And it was as much fun as I've had, I think, playing in a one day game for a while. How have the pitches been around the country so far this year? It's such a terrible wet winter and a wet start to this year, has it been? Well, it was pretty dry during pre season, so it was cold. But so the start, the first game at Leicester was a really good pitch and heavy rollers back. So we then started to think that the wickets are going to go back to how they used to be. Then, with some of the wet weather that's been around, we've had some damper decks and it's been a lot tougher, especially against the new ball. I think Chelmsford, we had Dave Masters who was nibbling the ball around. Richardson for Worcester bowled a great spell, one of the better spells I've faced. So it's been hard work, but generally you expect that at this time of year. Sometimes it's pot luck, what type of pitches you get, and a lot of it depends on the weather. Most of my career here at Tunbridge Wells, we've played four days of solid cricket. The last two years have been just interrupted by rain, but normally this time of year it's, it's a fantastic place to play. So it's yeah, slightly different than, than normal. Now, Alan Richardson, you mentioned him there when we played uh, Worcestershire. He's about 97 now, isn't he? <laughs> Proving there's plenty of life in the old doggy bowl beautifully out there, didn't he? Yeah, I don't think he got a wicket. Apparently he'd been, uh, he'd been called into the office to say, look, how can we help you get some wickets? <laughs> and then he actually turned it around pretty quickly. But yeah, he was hard because he was angling the ball into the right hander and then just moving it either up or down the slope. So uh, he, he's, a, he's been a serious bowler for a long time and he's one of those very, very good county bowlers. You always be interested to see how a Masters, they're probably never going to happen now because they've had their time, you'd always been interested to see how the international batsmen play against them, how they would go in test cricket, a bit like Bicknell, when for years and years for Surrey he bowled brilliantly and had limited opportunity in test cricket, but so much of test cricket is about pace and bounce, so these guys that actually have a lot of skill. Don't, haven't really got the recognition. It'd been very interesting to see if he would have got a game over the years. Yeah, maybe if he'd been born 20 years earlier, been picked out as someone who could play for England, may have been given a much longer chance to, to try and prove himself. Yeah, there's, there's definitely there's a lot of. You know, Tim Murta gets a lot of wickets for Middlesex. Mark Davies here, who bowls like 52 mile an hour, but lands it on the spot. <laughs> Uh, it's not a trend that you see in international cricket and you think international cricket wickets are so much better, so much flatter that actually these guys, but it'd been interesting to see how people would have played against them. I'd love to have seen Ricky Ponting maybe if he was going to play some championship cricket, play on a bit of a snake pit and see how he comes up against the slower bowlers like Dave. Now for anyone who's captain to any sort of cricket team, any sort of level school, club cricket, whatever, and you're not captain anymore, find yourself sometimes moving the field and suggesting the bowling change. How did it go for you this year? Yeah, it's not too bad. I think when we did 170 overs in the field at Leicester, there wasn't much that I was pretty glad that I didn't, uh, wasn't captain anymore. So, yeah, you have the odd moment, but actually it's, it's been quite good fun just not having to think about anything else. I mean, captaincy on the field is not a problem, it's more just everything off the field. Yeah, so it's um, dealing with players and you know, you're constantly just trying to man manage people, which is not necessarily what you got into playing cricket for, so it's a, it's a nice change. You feel a bit more relaxed about it, sir? Yeah, I, I get to sleep at night, which is a nice thing. Normally, I generally try and stay pretty relaxed, but then when I get home and start trying to nod off to sleep, that's when I start thinking about what I had to do with Joe Denley, who was being a pain or someone like that. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice change not to have to worry about it. Well, if you're sleeping well, you have to give him your secret. I haven't slept well for months. But uh, anyway, listen, the sun's going to be out today and tomorrow. Fingers crossed we might get a result in this game and hopefully another good one in the 40 home game on Sunday. Yeah, yeah so I think we might be on the same wicket as the, the one-day game against the Netherlands. So that would be nice. We're looking forward to that. Lovely. Best of luck.